Tonight, a strange discovery in Chester County. Officers found 200 turtles in bad shape being kept in a bin. Investigators say that these turtles were taken from the wild and they were going to be shipped to Asia. Our South Carolina Bureau reporter Greg Suskin learned what they were going to be used for. These are a few of the 216 turtles rescued from a home in Chester County. Dumped in buckets with no food or water, many were sick and dehydrated kept by people who only wanted to box them up and sell them. When you don't water them, you don't feed them right uh, or change their their routines like that, it puts them in uh, distress. DNR says the people involved were likely just snatching them up from the roads and out of the woods, likely for months. They're going out and collecting them. I mean, they, these guys spend a lot of time and energy out and have people that bring them turtles. We found that just last month, the Fish and Wildlife Service says a Pennsylvania man was sentenced to six months in prison and made to pay a quarter of a million dollars in restitution for poaching thousands of turtles and shipping them overseas. But those were protected species. The eastern box turtle is not. Still, having and shipping them in large numbers is illegal. In China, they're used for food and medicinal purposes. The culture there believes turtles bring long life, but it's decimating the turtle population here. As illegal harvesting grows, DNR is concerned about declines in their population here. We're worried about it. I mean, you know, that's why we're, 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 we're constantly looking. We're working with us and the, the feds to, uh, to track that and keep an eye on it. Greg Suskin, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now, we are still asking the Department of Natural Resources for the name and address of the person charged in Chester County. Those turtles that were seized are now being rehabilitated at a wildlife center in Savannah.